welcome back to the road. Today we are paying a visit to Birmingham, Alabama. I was told by people before visiting the city that Birmingham is a racist place. I can see how someone might believe that if all they ever saw were old clips from the 60s. I think what people forget is that the heroes who were being persecuted also lived in this city and it has changed a lot over time. Believe it or not, Birmingham didn't even exist before the Civil War. The city was founded in 1871 during the post-war reconstruction period. It grew after that as a railroad and manufacturing center. Birmingham was at the center of the civil rights movement of the 1960s. Many heroes of that movement were here, like Fred Shadowsworth. Together with the leaders of the movement, like Martin Luther King Jr., they organized sit-ins and other protests against the Jimmy Crow system. Their efforts were met with police dogs, tear gas, and even bombings. Three thousand people were arrested during the protests, many of them high school students. The Birmingham Civil Rights Center is a great place to get an idea of what those times were like and what the people experienced. On the same street as the Civil Rights Center is the 16th Street Baptist Church. The church was bombed by three cowards on September 15, 1963, killing four young girls, Eddie, Carol, Cynthia, and Denise. Our next stop is Vulcan Park. The park offers a great museum showcasing some of the Birmingham industrial history.
Let's look around a bit and take a look at the views. Noticed the giant statue of Vulcan that the park takes its name from. It also has an observation deck, so let's have a look. It's time to grab some food. I mean, the mood for Greek food and some yummy ice cream today. Our last stop is going to be the Birmingham Museum of Art. Be sure to check out the sculpture garden they have. It's a great place to sit and relax. The museum offers pieces from all over the world and from many different time periods. I hope you enjoyed our visit to Birmingham, Alabama. There are some dark periods in the city's past, but we can celebrate the triumph the people here have had over bigotry and racism. If you have a city you think we should visit, let us know in the comment section. Thank you for watching. See you next time.